Hi, this is Sepide Sadeh from Technical University of Munich. I'm going to briefly present Netrex, our network medicine platform for drug repurposing. In comparison to traditional drug development, drug repurposing offers significant advantages such as low cost and faster drug development timelines. There are many published drug repurposing studies, but they are mostly limited to predictions for specific diseases or to non-translational algorithmic approaches. There exist also numerous biomedical databases containing drug repurposing relevant information. However, these databases are scattered and not integrated into one unified and harmonized database. As tempting as machine learning or deep learning approaches are for drug repurposing applications, they normally don't return interpretable results. And we need more mechanism-based approaches which return interpretable results by design. Moreover, algorithmic approaches are often fully automatic and the involvement of expert knowledge to enhance the accuracy is still missing. All being said, we need integrated and interactive tools which allow researchers from all biomedical disciplines to employ network-based drug repurposing approaches that are adaptable to their individual use cases. We began to address this need by COVEX, which allows the user to interact with the system but is limited to COVID-19 drug repurposing. Netrex generalizes and extends the approach implemented in COVEX to be applicable for other diseases. Unlike few other available tools, Netrex doesn't confine users to limited number of diseases and is applicable also to new diseases. Before introducing our platform, we present the concept of disease module. Studies have indicated that disease-associated genes are not randomly scattered throughout biological networks. Instead, these genes tend to be located in so-called disease modules, which are small subnetworks representing interconnected mechanisms that can be linked to the phenotype. One of the bases of our network-based drug repurposing is that diseases can be viewed as perturbations of these disease modules. Consequently, potentially repurposable drugs can be identified in silico by carrying out the following three steps. First, the heterogeneous biological network is constructed by integrating data from multiple biomedical databases. This heterogeneous network contains knowledge that could be used for drug repurposing, for example, protein protein interactions, disease genes, and drug protein associations. Next, the constructed biological network is mined to derive disease modules associated with the disease of interest. Finally, drugs with known targets that are contained in or in the close vicinity to the extracted disease modules are prioritized. An advantage of our platform is that users can engage their expert knowledge at two points where seeds need to be selected. The Netflix platform has three main components, a knowledge-based, a cytoscape app, and an API. The Netflix app is a cytoscape app that provides implementations of network-based algorithms such as multi steiner trees, trust rank, biken, and diamond. The knowledge base named NetrexDB integrates data from various biomedical databases, including OMI, DrugBank, and Uniport. Integration of multiple databases enables us to construct the heterogeneous networks described earlier. These networks can be accessed and explored via the Netrex app, the Netrex API, and the Neo4j endpoint to the NetrexDB. The in silico network based drug repurposing pipeline can be done in three main steps using the Netrex app. The analysis begins by taking a set of genes as input. This gene set could be obtained by selecting the disease under study and subsequently obtaining genes associated with the disease from Netrex. Alternatively, a custom set of genes can be provided, for example, differentially expressed genes associated with the disease of interest. In the next step, disease modules are derived using the seeds selected in step one by employing the MAST or diamond algorithms. Alternatively, the biken algorithm can be employed to return disease modules. In this case, step one is skipped and gene expression data should be used as the input for this step. In the last step, drugs with targets in or in the vicinity of identified disease modules from previous steps are ranked. This last step can also be performed directly after step one. As mentioned earlier, expert knowledge can be used to supplement the inputs to step two and step three. To demonstrate the utility of the Netrex platform to discover potential therapeutic drugs, I show you an example use case for inflammatory bowel disease. 
We start by selecting the IBD node and obtaining all genes associated with it from NetXDB. Then we use these genes as input to mass to identify the disease modules. In total, 388 drugs target this module. Considering the high number of drugs targeting this module, we use the genes from the written disease module as seeds for drug prioritizing algorithms. Three drugs among top rank ones have been indicated for the treatment of IBD or the relevance to IBD are supported by literature evidence. None of these drugs target the initial disease seed genes. Postamatinib was reported to alleviate IBD-induced inflammatory damage in rats. The JAK inhibitor rexoltinib has been reported to ameliorate ulcerative qualities in a mouse model. Imatinib therapy has been reported to induce remission in IBD patients. Please visit our platform at netrex.net. There you can find tutorial videos on how to use the app with some real world examples. The Netrex app can also be downloaded from the Cytoscape App Store. Thank you very much for listening and please get in touch with me if you have any questions.